hey everyone welcome back to my channel so today's video I'm going to be doing a full face of um, all the new products 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 I've bought recently some I haven't even tried and some I've just been using a lot recently because they're new so I thought I'd show you guys what I'm liking and try out a few new things on camera as well so to start for primer I'm going to use my pixie rose flash balm I got this for Christmas and I've used it several times in videos you lot will know that i really love this um and it's the only primer i've been using since i've got this really also it's so nice to be back to having this background and um, the other one wasn't as pretty and was a bit boring so yeah I'm glad I'm back filming in this section of my room. Another thing I bought last weekend when I was in London was this Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Primer and Setting Spray. It is this bottle here. I got the mini so that um, I could try it out before I went and spent a lot of money on the big bottle because it is £27 a bottle, whereas this was 12 So I thought I'd test it out and check I liked it first. Uh, before splashing out and so far so good I really like it so I'm going to do just a spritz of this as well um, for my base and I will set my makeup with it as well oh it smells amazing as well because it's their coconut water primer Mm, mm, mm. For skin, I've just done a first impression on this IT Cosmetics CC cream and I ended up really liking it. I actually used it with a brush, um, preferred using it with a brush in my first impression video but having used it since, I've worked out that using a Real Technique sponge dry actually works really well with it. So that's what I'm going to do today just to show you a different way of applying it. A pump on each cheek because this actually spreads really far with a dry Real Technique sponge or beauty blender so you can always add more I like to just press it into my skin lots of little tapping motions so in my first impression I loved that oh I thought I got some on me then I loved this but I found it sunk into my pores without a primer and um, so obviously I use my primer under it and it works amazingly it lasts really well and gives such a nice finish and really good coverage as well without it being heavy um, I will link the video down below so you can see like exactly what it was like throughout the day what I found was good and what I found was bad or what I found worked and um, what didn't and yeah you can see for yourselves what like the full evaluation of it um the only thing i still don't like about this is the smell but i do get used to it you only smell it when you first um put it on and then once it's blended out you don't really notice it so another thing i've bought recently is the makeup revolution um, concealers I have used them in another video and I said that I actually thought I preferred them to the Tarte Shape Tape however my under eye concealer has almost run out and I'd only had it for like a month whereas my Tarte Shape Tape lasted forever so since I've used it since um, from that first time I used it I've actually decided that I don't prefer it to Shape Tape and that still wins but I'm going to use this for uh, cream contouring you only need a tiny amount of this and then I'm going to blend it out with my um, Moda brush. I can't remember what it's called. Complexion brush. I'm just going to sort of stipple that into my skin. Now for concealer, I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Full Coverage Concealer in the shade Light Warm. Um, I really like this, I have used this already several times, I really like it, um, it's just weird getting used to a small wand again because I've been using Tarte Shape Tape for so long, um, but it's very good. I'm going to just use my Real Technique sponge again. However, I do like to actually use this sponge damp for concealer, so I'm just going to spray it with my Too Faced spray. 
So I got that spray in London um, and I went to the Too Faced shop. Oh my gosh, it's amazing in there. It's literally like heaven. I was in there for ages and I was so excited. I literally could have bought everything, but I controlled myself and I was good, <laughs> which was very difficult, but it was so nice in there. The nice thing as well was we weren't actually looking for it. We just seemed to stumble across it, so it was meant to be. Now I don't have a new setting powder, so I'm just going to use my usual Ben Nye banana powder just to dip my sponge into and then just press under my eyes. I actually um, don't really bake anymore, only if I want to do like a super sharp contour will I bake under there, but I don't really bake under my eyes. Um, I just like to press some powder into that area so it stays, but not an excess amount. Because I find that it actually went a bit chalky under my eyes. I'm just going to press it on my lids as well, ready for eyeshadow. Now for eyebrows, I've used this loads of times as well, however, I haven't really done my eyebrows on camera in a very long time, so I thought I'd do that with you today. I'm using the Iconic London um, Eyebrow Cushion. I love this, it's amazing. It's my favourite eyebrow product ever. I'm just going to comb through my brows on the spoolie end. And I use the um, shade medium and I go for the lighter shade for the most of it. Mine's actually starting to run out. So I'm going to have to get a new one because it's honestly the best. I realise I'm quite fair, I've got like silvery blonde hair and my brows are quite dark um, but I like that look which is why I do it like that. They do have a lighter shade which I could use um, but this medium shade actually seemed more cool tone than the blonde however they have just bought out a new like ashy one so I might get that next time to try out. Once I've outlined my brow, I like to dip the brush in again and turn it the other way and just flick upwards and in the direction of my hair growth, just so it's got a more natural fluffy front. And the brows are done. So for Christmas, my friend got me this huge Makeup Revolution palette. It's called the Pro Amplified palette. So you've got eight um, face powders, so bronzers, contour, some under eye colours and two different highlights. And then you get 12 um, eyeshadow colours as well. So I'm going to be using this on my face and my eyes today. I'm going to start by just bronzing up my skin. And I'm going to dip into this shade here. I think this one might have a little bit of shimmer in actually. But I'm not going to be contouring with it. I'm just going to be bronzing. Oh my gosh, that is very pigmented. Oh my goodness, I was not expecting it to be that pigmented. Just gonna really blend that out. <laughs> Just gonna take a clean fluffy brush and blend that. Blimey, that is good. I did not expect it to be that pigmented. Now going to take this um, real Techniques brush. It's like a short dense brush thing. It's actually meant for eyeshadow and I'm going to do one tiny dab into that same bronzing colour and I'm just going to enhance the contour on my nose. And 
and I'm just going to blend it with the other end of my sponge and just really press that colour into my skin also helps blend it out a little right I'm only going to do a tiny bit of contour because like I said that's a lot more pigmented than I expected I'm going to take this cooler tone down here and I'm going to dip the very tip of this brush in tap off excess and just use that to contour for blush I'm going to be using this collection soft glow blusher in the shade trouble it's just a really nice mauvey pink i really wanted a blusher that isn't as warm because i have all my blushes are warm toned so i wanted just a nice pinky shade um this got a slight shimmer in and again i'm just gonna tap into it twice tap off the excess and just press it into my skin now back to this palette for the eyes i'm going to take this shade brown here Oh, you get a lot of fallout in the pan. I think that's probably why they're so pigmented, so I'm going to make sure I tap off the excess each time. I'm just going to blend this into my crease. They're really nice, though, really nice um, powders. I'm going to slowly build that up rather than go in with a lot because I don't want to get loads of fallout and I don't want to get more pigment than I want. I'm just going to really blend that and I'm doing that in my crease and above it as well. Now I want to go slightly warmer so I'm going to take this like terracotta -y sort of brown colour here. And I'm just going to do one little dab into that again and concentrate that more in the crease. Whoa, these are honestly so pigmented. They're really good. Like that was literally one dab, tap off the excess and then done. I've actually got a new brush to use as well. I got this from Home Bargains and it's like a little mermaid brush. So I thought I'm going to give that a go. It's like one pound, I think. Um, but it's like a short, fluffy eyeshadow brush. So I actually think it'll be pretty good. I'm going to take that orangey shade again and just focus that on my outer V. And now to really deepen up the corner or the outer V, I'm going to dip into that black, again tapping off the excess. I'm going to sort of run it along my outer lash line. Sort of tapping it to where I want it to be placed and then um, I can blend it out after. I'm going to... I'm almost doing it as if like I would a wing so I'm sort of angling out starting thinner here and going a bit thicker to the corner and then I'm just blending it slightly into the outer V as well just to really smoke it out I just want like a really soft matte eyeshadow look today now I'm going back in with my other brush back into that warm terracotta brown and I'm just gonna blend the crease again make sure all those colors are seamless I actually want this bit to be a bit brighter and cleaner so I'm not actually going to cut crease it but I just want it to be a bit like a cut crease so I'm just going to dip into I think this shade here with a flat brush and I'm just going to pack that onto the front part as if I was cutting the crease but I'm not going to do it with concealer. You actually don't need to because these shadows are so pigmented, even the white colours. And again, just to make sure it blends all seamlessly, I'm going to use the excess of the powder that was on here just to blend that in and blend the black into that as well. I'm actually going to leave the lower lash line bare for once um, just because I like that it's quite... Um, 
winged and gives me a kind of almondy shape eye so i am very impressed with that palette now for highlight but before i do that i'm just going to spray and set all my makeup with this um too faced primer again i like to do this before my highlight because it really helps it pop and everyone knows i love a highlighter that stands out now i've not used this highlighter before but i'm so excited because i wanted to try these out for ages and it's the um sleek makeup um eye eyeshadows highlighters so pretty such pretty colors so the one i picked up was cleopatra's kiss um there's two cream and two powders i actually might try a little bit of this cream um i'm just gonna like warm it on my hand it's a very yellowy goldy colour but I just want to test it out and then I can layer up. So I'm kind of putting it on my hand and then any excess on my finger I'll like tap onto my nose. Oh my goodness. It's quite um, a chunky highlight. I'm glad I tested it on my nose first. Like it looks really pretty, but um, it is quite chunky. But I'm going to use my fan brush and I'm going to dip into this sort of goldy bronzy shade here. And I'm going to just highlight my cheekbones. Oh my gosh. That is good. Oh. Okay, I think I might have got a bit excited. I'm just going to do a little bit of brush my brow bone as well <gasps> oh my gosh i'm actually gonna have to blend that out a little bit that is crazy okay i mean i'm not complaining because i love it Again, any excess I'll just put above my brow and then I will blend it in a little. Wow, I love this. I can't believe I haven't tried this sooner, to be honest. I'm actually going to dip into this creamy one again and tap it on my hand. And then I'm going to use my finger to run that along my brow. Now for mascara, you've seen me use this loads of times, but I've bought a new bottle. Um, it is the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara. I love this. It's so good. I'm just going to coat my lashes. Just going to run a little bit of mascara under my eyes. I'm only going to do a light amount. Um, I don't want to change the shape of my eye too much. I like that it's caught, sort of been cat eyed with the eyeshadow. I'm actually not going to wear falsies today either because I always do falsies and I want like a softer, um, smokier glam look today. So I'm not going to use falsies. And finally, for lips, I'm using I love this, this is what I'm excited my new lipstick. And um, this again from Too Faced. It is the Melted Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Cool Girl and it is like the best nude. So, excuse me, it's actually quite similar to Velvet Teddy um, by MAC but I just don't want to repurchase MAC because they're Tesla animals so I'd rather find a cruelty free option and Too Faced have pulled through. I mean, is this not the best nude you ever did see? <sighs> this also lasts so well. It's really thin and so comfortable to wear as well. Oh, I love it. I've literally worn it pretty much every day since I've got it. I'm going to take my hair out, which has gone a little bit crazy. I tried to do a wet look curl with it because I saw Jamie Genevieve do it. And it looked amazing. But instead, it just made me look like a grease ball. So I tried to brush it out and it's just gone a bit mental. So I'm not having a good hair day, however, my makeup kind of makes up for it. I'm really happy. And this is the finished look. So 
I hope you guys really enjoyed this video of me using um, a full face of my new makeup. Some first impressions in there as well. Um, I, I literally love every single item I've used. So very pleased with my new purchases because um, they could have been a bit of a fail. But they didn't. They pleasantly surprised me. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out my first impression on this foundation for like a detailed overview on it all. And smash the thumbs up button, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next one.